Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th annual Jerry Herman Awards. I'm your host, George Pinocchio, and what a thrill it is to be back joining you all again. I've had the pleasure of serving as host for this annual competition in years past, and I can say without question, Los Angeles has the greatest and brightest high school talent in the country. And when our panel of judges looked at the level of talent that came out, they knew there were going to be some tough decisions ahead. But to all of this year's 44 nominees from your 27 schools in Los Angeles County, we cannot thank you enough for throwing your hats into the ring. This academic year, we were so pleased to hear that a number of our schools were able to perform their high school musicals in person for live audiences. While our awards program is once again virtual this year, I can assure you we felt your energy from Hollywood as you all set foot on your stages once again. For those schools who presented virtually, we appreciate you all striving to keep your school's arts programs up and running, no matter what the obstacles. And as we all know, the prevailing law of the theater is, the show must go on. All of our participating schools were given the opportunity to nominate two performers of their choice by submitting audition videos to our panel of judges. Over the last few weeks, our panel watched all audition submissions and scored based on vocalization and character Characterization. And as a special treat, throughout the night, we're going to be hearing from some of our judges with words of encouragement for all of our finalists and nominees. We had a great team once again this year. Now tonight we're going to be watching auditions from our top six finalists, and at the end of our presentation, we'll be crowning two winners, both of whom will receive $1,000 in a cash prize, and both of whom will go on to participate in this year's Jimmy Awards competition next month. And yes, we are happy to confirm that after three long years, this Jimmy Awards will be returning to an in-person competition in New York City on Broadway. once in a lifetime opportunity. It's something I don't want to take for granted and I just want to savor every single moment. The Jimmy Awards is a collection of this year 86 kids from all around the country that won the regional programs and they get to learn, rehearse, and compete for a week. We started right away um, learning our opening number music. All day is just filled with rehearsals. We're working on our opening numbers and our group numbers. So, you know, we've got the character number and our musical number and the tribute. And then simultaneously, we're all working with our coaches. So it's just nonstop, go, go, go. For a couple of days, they get to work on their individual pieces that are going to be performed for our panelists of judges on Sunday. Before the big performance on Monday, there's about seven or eight Broadway artists that come in and coach them on their pieces and get them performance ready. My vocal coach is Michael McElroy. It's really, really surreal to be meeting people like this. We filmed a video today of them singing You Will Be Found from Dear Evan Hansen and a special treat they got to sing it with Andrew Feldman who was one of them a year ago and Andrew is a, a big example for them of something that could happen that's something that seems like a crazy dream but actually became a reality. There is absolutely nothing like seeing these students enter a room, introduce themselves the enthusiasm, the hopes, the dreams show up in their faces and you can feel this palpable energy. And then as you go throughout the week, you see them developing relationships and really solidifying those hopes and dreams. Meeting these new people and building that network has been one of the best experiences I could have ever asked for. It is important that we have high caliber opportunities and that the Broadway League is invested, the Broadway theater community is invested in making sure there are opportunities for the next generation of artists.
The Jimmy Awards is a national talent showcase that celebrates high school students from across the country and features dynamic ensemble and solo performances. This program impacts more than 140,000 students who normally participate in high school musical theater competitions each year, sponsored by presenters of touring Broadway productions throughout the United States. The week-long life-changing experience will culminate with two talented students presented with Best Performance Awards with a total of 20 awards and scholarships available to participants. We are talking a full week of you working and learning directly from Broadway professionals. It's going to be an experience like none other and we cannot wait to see who gets to participate. Hello everyone, my name is Kathy Rigby and I was one of the judges uh, for the Jerry Herman Awards and I just want to say this was one of the most difficult years to select um, our winners. I have to tell you that there is so much talent out there. I remember saying during our judging session that I'm glad that I don't have to compete against these kids because they're amazing. Um, so much talent, so much originality. I wish we could pick all of you, um, but uh, that wasn't possible. Uh, it was really a, a great deal of fun to be able to watch you uh, for more than just 30 seconds or a couple of minutes. Um, standing in front of us, we could really see the originality, really see the emotion uh, on camera. We look forward to seeing you next year uh, in person though, and uh, good luck tonight and God bless you and well done. All right, the time has come for our first finalists of the competition. Please welcome from John Burroughs High School, singing What Do I Need With Love from Thoroughly Modern Millie, it's Rhett Hemingway. <laughs> All the places I would like to show you Although I hardly know you I've a funny feeling we'd make a perfect pair Famous sights I want to see you see in The nights of you and me Wait a minute, just a minute. No, 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 no. I'm a Joe with just one aim. Every night to date a different dame. Call each one of them the same pet name. Hey baby, in a row I have my ducks. Loads of gals who give me loads of yucks. Leave the cooing to the other clucks. I don't mean maybe. Got it good. What do I need? Is what I preach I keep temptation out of easy reach Stick to dolls who wash their hair and bleach I'm happy Come and go the way I choose Never gonna sing tied down blues Other guys with total fill my shoes No wing clipped sappy Got it good What do I need with love? That was a near miss Talk about a close shave Flirted with disaster There must be someone up there watching over me Talk about a four-leaf clover me Peter Rabbit's missing footsay Means I roll without a tootsie Got it good What do I need with love? I've got it good What do I need with love? Skip the vows and all that rot Tell the minister that I do not Bright and breezy is the birds and busy is the free and easy is the life I've got Without her But now I've got 
program like this exists for all the Broadway stars of tomorrow. This year's competition was so very close, and all of the participants are stars in their own right. Our next finalist for the Jerry Herman Awards comes to us from Chaminade College Preparatory High School. Performing the song, The Winner Takes It All from Mamma Mia, here is Faith al -Hadef. I don't want to talk about things we've gone through. Though it's human, now it's history. Hey there, 2022 Jerry Herman Award candidates. Um, I'm gonna tell you a quick story. I watched all the videos this year. I always watch them, but I watched all 44 videos. Um, and then I spoke to the rest of the judges when we had a chance to meet up. And I I told them, you know, I, I started my directing career about 40 years ago working with teenagers in a teen summer theater program. Uh, so kids your age and all I could think of is how talented and how disciplined, how professional you were, what it must have felt like for your teachers or your educators, your directors, when you walked in for that audition 
for the show that you ended up doing, that the show that you're being considered here for, your teachers must have exhaled a huge sigh of relief. What a blessing that you walked in and were ready to make their show great and make your show great. Uh, I am so overwhelmed by not just how well you did, how professional it looked, your talent, but your your knowledge of the art form, your owning of the material, uh, your your maturity, and your grace. So I know I'm supposed to say congratulations, and here you go. Congratulations, you deserve it. You are the cream of the crop of L.A. high school theater, and you are the best, and you deserve all of this recognition. But I really also wanted to say thank you. The theater art form is in good hands with you. Let's keep this competition moving along. Our next finalist comes to us from Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. Performing a song from Disney's Beauty and the Beast, please welcome Samuel Karpinski singing, If I Can't Love Her. And in my twisted faith, there's not the slightest trace. Hi, 
everyone, Charlene Liu here, and we're so happy to see the returning and new schools joining us for the Jerry Herman Awards this year. We always want to thank our dedicated teachers because you continue nurturing and coaching the next generation of performers, so thank you so much. We would have loved to return in person, but of course things didn't quite work out, and many of you are probably becoming pros at self-taping, so thank you for handling all those technical elements. We want to give a special shout out to the students who returned from last year. Yes, we see you. Um, so much growth. Wonderful. Uh, we see your choices and your commitment and more depth and a stronger presence in owning your space and your choices. So bravo. We want everybody to keep up that discipline, that effort, and especially resilience, not just in performing, but in life. We're also really excited for the graduating seniors, for what's ahead in your future, and we really hope that we get to see many of you in shows in the near future. Take care. Our next finalist comes to us from Notre Dame Academy, performing the song The Miller's Son from A Little Night Music. Please welcome Julia Smith. I shall
Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dana Salamando. I am one of your judges for the Jerry Herman Awards. Um, I've been a part of the award ceremony for about four years. Um, usually I'm the choreographer for the opening uh, number, which has always been a joy. Obviously we couldn't do that this year, but this was just such a wonderful way to um, be a part of it. I was honored and thrilled to be asked to be one of the judges this year. And boy, wow, the competition was fierce. The talent, my goodness. Um, I had a wonderful time watching you all. Thank you so much for your talent and for your hard work. Um, and I wish you all the very best. Uh, good luck, everyone. Bye. Okay, everybody, we're now down to our last two finalists. Our next nominee will be performing the song, This World Will Remember Me, from Bonnie and Clyde the Musical. Coming to us from Beverly Hills High School, please welcome Eli Oakum. The men in this town live and die and are forgotten And it doesn't seem to scare them I can't wait to get away Away from the drought and the homeless and the hungry Where they talk about foreclosures every hot and dusty day I don't intend to waste my life around here I got it all mapped out if I can pull just three jobs a year I'll be rich, I'll have wealth and fame Everyone will know my name Pull three jobs? <laughs> what do you think it means? Just like Billy the Kid and Mr. Capone Every kid will idolize Clyde Barrow <laughs> One thing, young lady, I guarantee Is that this world will remember me Yes, this world will remember me Don't you think it's time that you lost that egg-stained apron And wore something made of satin from a fine Manhattan store Yes, I can see now in a car with your own driver You are headed to your penthouse that will overlook the shore your face should be up on the silver screen You've got that it girl look Oh yes, it's true that I see that in you I always knew you'd be a star How intelligent you are We are wasted round here We're too good for this place We weren't born to live and die In Texas This is my plan There's no plan B And this world will remember me You and this world will remember me Hello, Jerry Herman Awards. My name is Natalie Iskovich, and I'm one of the judges for this year's competition. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody who submitted. The judges had a hard time choosing our winners. No matter what happens tonight, remember that this does not determine your worth as an artist. Keep training. Keep going. We support you. And now it's time for our last finalist of this year's competition. We can feel the anticipation out there, so let's not keep you waiting. Coming to us from John Burroughs High School, performing the song, Dying Ain't So Bad, also from Bonnie and Clyde the Musical, please welcome Sophie Polono. <laughs> together only when you're left behind does it get sad but a short and loving life that ain't so bad Don't happen to 
but a short and loving life that ain't so bad. I've met boys who talk about farms and horses, and they don't do much for me. I don't need to end up in a rocking chair. It seems you get to live. I'm Kenny Ortega, and I am both honored and thrilled to return for the 10th year as a judge for the Jerry Herman High School Musical Awards. I wouldn't miss it for anything. It is my personal favorite awards event of the year. We recognize the future of the American musical theater. My congratulations to all the schools, teachers, benefactors, and parents for putting in the hard work that has brought these incredibly gifted young people here tonight. Hear it from me, you have made this one of the most competitive years to date. My thanks to the students and teachers who continue to present your shows, regardless of being there in person or virtually, so important. Our judging team has watched each and every one of your auditions a multitude of times before arriving at the very difficult task of selecting tonight's finalists. So bravos and bravas to you all. It is my greatest hope that you will continue to dedicate yourselves and grow as you pursue higher education because you represent the future of the next generation of the American musical theater. And now without further delay, it is time to announce the winners of this year's Jerry Herman Awards. Okay, is everybody ready? I hope so, because the time has come to reveal our two winners of the Jerry Herman Awards. A reminder that these two winners will be getting a $1,000 prize each and will be flying to New York City to compete in the Jimmy Awards on Broadway next month. Okay, here we go. May I have a drum roll, please? Our first 2022 Jerry Herman Award winner is Samuel Karpinski from Los Angeles County High School for the Arts. Congratulations, Samuel. We know you're going to do great at the Jimmy Awards. We know it. And now it's time to announce our second winner. Drum roll, please. Okay, our second 2022 Jerry Herman Awards winner is Sophie Polono from John Burroughs High School. Congratulations once again to both Sophie and Samuel. We look forward to both of you representing Los Angeles at this year's Jimmy Awards. You're gonna do us proud and we cannot wait to see the magic you'll both be bringing to the stage of the Minskoff Theater on Broadway. All of LA will be rooting for you. And once again, a huge congratulations and appreciation to all of our finalists and nominees for participating in this year's competition. To our educators, parents, and most importantly to all of our students out there, Thank you for continuing to be champions of arts education in Los Angeles. From all of us at the Jerry Herman Awards, I'm George Pinocchio. We'll see you next year. Thank you and good night.